My man's like, I'm gonna go Joker, okay. <laughs> but actually. <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> Can't believe it. Won't believe it. Alright, Joker, man. We haven't seen Joker in a while here. That's nuts. He still has that frame 3 counter. That's also nuts. Damn, they didn't patch it. <sighs> he didn't yeah, get no, any changes, wish. actually. He was completely unchanged, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, Lord. For sure he was. Now, now oh, well. I'm tempted to double check now. Rest in peace, my biases. I have to, I have to keep, stay, keep going with it. Well, whatever. He's gonna blast her. <laughs> Apparently, like you said, Zelda is a bad matchup for Ness, you said? Apparently, I mean, that's the only reason I would imagine that he would be going, um, specifically Joker, but I don't know maybe how well it's going to work out for him. Maybe he felt he was looking cool, huh? And he was just like, I, if I'm looking cool, I gotta, I gotta match it. I gotta play the you characters know? that's looking cool. Sardo apparently knows the matchup well enough to actually be able to deal with the pocket, the pocket uh, Joker. Or maybe a Joker in training, I don't know. I don't know what Arya's doing. Maybe Arya's like, yo, I'm gonna use Joker if I get to lose a semi, specifically. No round earlier. Yeah, Joker's off-limits until then. I specifically go Bowser in Losers Round 3 if uh, I happen to fall in Losers Round 3. That hasn't happened never yet. never see it coming. <laughs> you can see my nasty F tilts on the ledge. Reminder guys, this is still best of 3. So Devin, I was wrong. It can save up to an hour because of uh, Loser Semis. Yup. Oh my gosh. That shield pressure was pretty good from Sourdough. Unfortunately, Knight does not hit inside of Zelda, or fortunately, depending on your perspective. Not enough. Jeez, bro, that forward air is nuts. Uh, I like <laughs> that. Was full. Yeah, that was good. He's like, he's probably gonna go above the ledge to try to like to try to get a hit in on me. He's like, try and hit me, stupid. Forward throw, Mike. Up throw is a kill, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, when you get Yote. It's like, when you fight these characters like Zelda and Samus, and you're like, yeah, they're just like, they're just kind of just throwing stuff at me from across the stage. Once I get in, I'll kill them, and then they just grab you and they do up throw, and you're like, oh. Damn. That's annoying. That was um. That was a shield. Oh, that, that broke no. the the neighbor's love, right? She was at forty. That broke the neighbor's love, right? I wasn't paying attention. Did um, you, I mean, you clipped it. We'll yeah. have to watch it back later. Yeah. I think it, I think it did the the K rule thing where if you if the your reflector gets too broken, strong, yeah. But I didn't know that it, it broke shield for her instead of instant killing. Instead of what? I didn't know that it broke her. It it did the shield break instead of killing. Does it kill K. Rool? Or do you mean, like, does it just knock him? It just knocks him into shield break animation for K. Rool. Yeah, I mean, all the characters, all, all everyone's reflex usually do that, like Fox's. No. Fox goes into shield break if he reflects something too strong that he can't reflect. Does it really? Okay. Yeah. I know Heroes just straight up dies if he, if he doesn't reflect. If he, uh, if he uses bounce, and it bounces back and forth, it doesn't shield break, it just kills him. Interesting. Alright, well, let's see. I don't know how you would test that with Falco, actually, because Falco's is out, so it, so you should admit him, right? I mean, it, he'd probably just get hit. Yeah, he would get hit. Yeah. He wouldn't be able to, to get the full bounces. Can we get to that clip already? I need to see this before the next match starts. I mean, I'll just, I'll just let it play, it's whatever. It's here, right? Or not? Where is this kill? Alright, well, whatever. Lost forever. <sighs> Who won? I'm sad. Who won? Huh? Um, Sarado did. Hey, Arya insisting on staying Joker. Um, it was. It didn't end up going that poorly towards the end. 
it, it ended up going pretty well towards the end, so I can understand why he would want to commit this character. Nice. Unfortunately, uh, Arsene is out of here, bro. All right, yeah, no, nice use of Din's fire to, to hit Joker off stage. Sardo getting these little hits in and almost getting the kill immediately. Twice? Jeez, man. I think Arya is not intentionally letting himself get hit by the knight because Sarah does start picking up on the fact that he's going for that very often. And honestly, Arya wasn't allowed to get like that much reward for getting hit by the knight, but that back here at the ledge, always a very strong move. And now Sarah does got to try to figure out how he's going to get that first kill, especially when Arya is able to get some extra hits in. And the back reward are not killing. Right, Arya no longer has a. Uh, no longer has Harsen. He's lost his. Uh, he's lost his superpower. <laughs> okay, I respect it. He could have probably rebels guarded that, but all right. Because if he had rebels guarded, he would have. Uh, he would have been able to tether. Uh, cancel it immediately and tether because he gets like a small hop when he cancels it. Oh my goodness! The perfect spacing on the pullback. Very nice, Ryan. Okay. Sardo not quite out of here. He's just got to get that one hit. Unfortunately, not getting a sweet spot on either of his aerials. How unfortunate for Sardo. And now he's in a ledge situation where he's got to try to get back. And Ari has been doing a great job of covering the ledge, dude. The balls on this man, just challenging that F smash. All right, back throw. Not enough. And unfortunately, Dense Fire was a uh, not a sweet spot. But then the half charge knight actually screwing the swing up and managing to hit Ari. But a bad Nehru's love is gonna be the uh, is gonna be the end of uh, Sarado's stock. And we're at one one. Winner of this goes on to fight Dan the Man. Daniel the Manual. I'm assuming we can't get back the uh, the second to last stock of the uh, last game. Uh, I don't think I would have time for it. Okay, I just really want to see that. But yeah, they, they started too quickly again. Yeah. Alright, so we have a more open stage here. Uh, Kalos is often compared to FD, which, despite the fact that it has like a lot of elements that makes it very not FD-like, uh, those platforms in particular offers a lot of really good avenues for returning to the stage. Especially against a character that, uh, especially when you're fighting a character like Joker, has like a lot of really good ways to punish you for bad returns. Oh my! And that's the first uh, forward air or side aerial that Sarado has been able to get like this whole set that actually like managed a sweet spot. All right, not quite hitting. Yeah, Sarado keeps getting up into the uh, the charged F smashes, but barely manages to either shield them or have them whip. Playing. Very risky. <laughs> wow, the second forward air! Taking the stock immediately, dude!
Are you not quite spacing the forward smash close enough to get the kill? And wow, dude, that was a very not like like it looked like that wasn't that DI must have been like perfect to, for him not to have died there. But that DI was anything but perfect. Holy crap, dude! Well, this game was what, two minutes. Good lord. Yeah, it was a two minute game. Is that the set? Are we over? Is yeah, it that was the set. It's oh over. My. All right. Thank you. Me oh my. We might actually be able to. We might actually be able to go to bed by 10:30. Yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna have Dan the Man come back in. Um, congrats Sourdough to Arya again. Dan, yeah. Fourth. Yep. Okay. I still really want to see that shield break, but I know it's going to be hard for you to try to go back through it. I can. So I understand. Try to find it. Just let me... No, I, mean, like, I can look it up later. Alright. Oh, let me 